Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Soul Stained Ink. My name is Beth, and this is a new angle in an old room. I'm back at my parents' house for the weekend doing laundry and gathering up a few things that I didn't get taken with me uh, before we left. But that means I have Wi-Fi and I can do like a real Friday reads for you guys. So let's get started. All right, like I said, this is Friday Reads, although I don't know how many of these I'm going to get read this weekend because, as I said, I am at my parents' house and I should be able to have a good afternoon of reading today and then Saturday get some reading done. Um, Sunday after lunch, I'm going to be getting in the car and driving back to the new house and leaving my daughter here. So Sunday evening, I'll do like some last minute unpacking and organizing, clean up, cook, and I'll have all night to watch movies and read. And hopefully I will get a lot of reading done over the weekend. Monday starts uh, in service for the school I am working at now. So on Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, I have in services. And on Thursday, school starts. So Wednesday night, mom is bringing Elena back to our new house. And, you know, I won't be needing much Wednesday night, I don't think. And my dog is fairly sick. He's 14 and just the love of my life, my baby, you know, that sort of thing. And he just hasn't been doing well the last few days. So he ate a couple of pancakes earlier. That makes me very hopeful, but I'm afraid that I might not get as much reading done because I'll be having to uh, make some decisions about him soon. Hopefully not, hopefully he pulls through. But anyway, enough of that story. Let's get to the books I'm going to be reading, shall we? Yes, we shall. So the first book I'm going to be working on is, of course, A Game of Thrones by George R. R. Martin. Now, with the mass market paperback, this week's reading goes from page, I believe, 203 to 304, maybe? Yeah, to 304. I'm honestly, I started on this during the move a couple of days early, so I have like 30 pages before I'm done with this week's reading and we'll probably continue on after that because I'm a little cheap, but I'm loving it. I'm very excited about it and hopefully you guys are reading along and enjoying it as well. All right, the next book I have is a library book because we went to the library here in Alva today and they have Blameless and it's the third in the uh, Parasol Protectorate. It's the next one on my list for that so I'm very excited to get to it and then I got some graphic novels so I got Lumber James this is Beware the Kitten Holy uh, it's the bind up of the first set I guess so there's that it says one right here so I'm hoping that this is the one I was supposed to get first and then they just got a couple of new uh, classics graphics. So this is Jane Eyre or Eyre, Jane Eyre, and this is Frankenstein. And these are classical comics by, uh, I guess it's the company is actually Classical Comics. So classicalcomics.com, but they takes the original text and turns it into a graphic novel. So I am really excited. I read Marvel's rendition of Pride and Prejudice several months ago, and that got me super excited about these. And I was just very happy to see that the library had gotten these three in, and I will be working on them this weekend as well. And don't worry, I will let you know what I think when I get done. That is all I have for you guys today. If you have read or want to read any of the books I've mentioned, Please uh, let me know in the comments what your thoughts, ideas, perspectives, etc. are on them. If you have reviews for any of them, you can link those videos up. If you've done a Friday Reads, link that up as well. Or just let us know what you're reading this weekend. Don't forget to give me a big thumbs up if you liked this video. Subscribe if you're new. Leave any comments you want. And we'll see you again soon. Bye.